If you're struggling with knee pain, your knee muscles constantly feel like they're tightening up and trying to protect themselves, you may have wondered how you can just relax your knee muscles so that they'll feel better and your knee will feel better. In this video, I'm gonna explain why that's the wrong strategy and what the right strategies are if you have knee pain. By the end of this video, you're gonna understand why relaxing your knee muscles is probably not gonna make anything feel better and you're gonna know what you should be doing instead. So if you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. So to start, I got an email from Tony who was telling me that he's got knee pain and he really doesn't want knee surgery, but he's been noticing that his knee muscles tense every time he stands to get up from a chair or even when he's just walking around. So Tony's question is how do I break this connection that my brain and my knee muscles have? It seems like I'm trying to protect my knee by tensing up, but that's not really helping. So I understand why Tony wants to try to break this association between walking and standing and his knee muscles just firing and locking up his knee. It's not really functional to just have your knees stiffen up every time you need to do anything. Good luck walking and feeling comfortable when your knees just don't want to bend and extend smoothly. And good luck trying to balance yourself when your knees are really stiff and feel locked up because you're just gonna fall. But here's the thing, your body will not let you relax muscles if those muscles actually need to keep firing to keep you safe. For example, if I'm holding this 35 pound kettlebell over my head, it's gonna be really difficult to get my body to just relax my triceps or to let my hands just totally let go of this kettlebell. Your brain is constantly doing calculations to figure out how to preserve your life and to preserve the integrity of your body. Even though my arms and hands are starting to get tired, my brain is not just going to let the muscles relax fully and drop the kettlebell on my head. It's just not gonna happen. Instead, my brain is gonna fire some muscles in some way to move this kettlebell out of the position where it's gonna kill me. Okay, I'm getting really tired, so down it goes. I wish I had been able to say all the words I just said in one take. So what does that have to do with your knees constantly tensing up? This comes back to the concept of having adequate muscle balance and muscle strength around any given joint. As it pertains to your knee, there are many muscles that wrap around the sides of your knee. There are muscles that wrap around the front. There are muscles that wrap down the back. All of these muscles are responsible for keeping your knee working. If the muscles around your knee become too stiff and flexible, too weak or imbalanced, your knee is now compromised. Now, how could your knee muscles become imbalanced? It's very easy, actually. At the end of this video, I'm gonna to link to a playlist of knee pain videos so you can build strength in your knees properly. First, let's just run through a simple thought experiment. Let's say I'm gonna spend the next 10 years doing exercise for only my right knee. And it's just gonna be this exercise. I'm gonna keep strengthening the muscles on the front of my knee and the front of my thigh for the next five years and I'm only gonna do it on the right side. On the left side, I'm gonna put on an ankle weight and I'm only gonna do hamstring curls on this side. As I get stronger and stronger, I'm gonna keep putting on more and more weight so that my hamstrings get really strong, but only on the left side. Do you think there will be a noticeable difference in the function of my right knee and my left knee? Hey man, I can't breathe when you're holding my neck. If you answered yes, it's because you understand physical reality. If I train only the muscles that straighten the knee on one side, it's going to affect the general function of this knee. And if I only train the muscles back here, that bend this knee, I'm also going to affect the function of my left knee. It's highly likely that both knees would end up not feeling good, but they would probably feel not good in different ways. My right knee might feel like it always wants to be straight and my left knee might feel like it always wants to be bent. But maybe I might be able to straighten the left knee if I really try hard and my right knee I can really try hard to bend and then I can try to even things out by using conscious effort. The problem is I'd have to be constantly thinking about restoring that balance to get my knees to do what they're supposed to be able to do naturally. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's okay if you don't, let me break this down. If it feels like your knees are constantly locking out and you can't seem to get them to relax, it may be because the muscles around the knee joint are not balanced. For many, many people, this means that your hamstrings are super weak. In most of the developed world, we sit in chairs for, I don't know, 12 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours a day. We'll occasionally stand up to go do something like grabbing our phones so we can go sit down on a different chair. 
And after you sit in the car or on a train or on a bus, you get back home and sit down on a different chair. None of this helps us maintain the strength of our hamstrings. Even walking upstairs or walking a few blocks to get lunch or even walking home will not really drastically affect the strength of your hamstrings. And once your hamstrings are really weak, it's very easy to come up with other ways to avoid using your weak hamstrings when you walk. So then your hamstrings are so weak, you just don't use them and guess what? They get weaker as you don't use them. And I know there may be some buff gym goers watching this right now saying, uh, I don't have atrophied hamstrings. And that's great. I'm glad you are doing workouts that build your hamstrings. But the overall message here for you is that muscle balance still matters. You're still gonna need to look at how you're training all the muscles around your hips, your knees, and your ankles to make sure that things are balanced. If you're only doing the same three or four motions all the time, you are guaranteed training in dysfunction. How you fix your dysfunction will be a little bit different though than what everybody else is doing. How you fix your dysfunction may require more massage and stretching than what we're gonna talk about in this video, but it's still important for you to know that muscle balance still matters. And this is to say nothing about the inner thigh muscles that are equally important and the outer thigh muscles and outer hip muscles and butt muscles that are all also very important for having a knee that feels stable. The one muscle group that we do tend to use on a regular basis, even if we're not thinking about it, is this group of muscles on the front of the thigh that extends the knee. So those are generally, for most people, the last to go, meaning they still maintain some strength relative to all these other things which we can allow to atrophy pretty easily. So now the stability of your knee relies fully on just this muscle group because you've atrophied your hamstrings, you've atrophied your inner thighs, and your butt is probably squashed to death from your daily life. If it feels then like the quads are constantly working, guess what? They should. Hey, I wanna say a big thanks to Josefu Sensei for the $50 donation via YouTube, super thanks. If you wanna support this channel too, use the donate link you'll find in the description box or use the join and thanks buttons on YouTube. And don't forget to find me on other social media channels and go to my website to sign up for my newsletter so we always stay connected no matter what the sensors decide to do. Now let's get back to it. So the key to fixing this problem is not to spend 30 minutes a day lying on the floor breathing and trying to gently relax the knee muscles, the key is actually to restore strength to the hamstrings, to the inner thighs, to your butt. It's like when you work at an office and one of your coworkers is a total lazy slacker. You always wanna do a really good job and help people, so you are doing extra work to make up for your coworkers laziness and incompetence. But now you're doing the workload of one and a half people and you're starting to feel burned out. Are you talking about me again? Yes, but only literally. Okay, good. The solution wouldn't be for you to just relax and allow all the incompetence and laziness to pile up and create a massive problem for you and your department. The solution is to make sure that the lazy coworker actually starts doing his job properly so that the workload is spread properly and things get done the way they're supposed to. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go take a smoke break. Likewise with your knees, you wanna make sure the work is spread properly so that no one group is being told it's gotta do all the work for everybody else. And I want to reiterate that you are trying to build balance of strength and flexibility around the knee and also your hip. Many of the muscles that cross the knee also across the hip joint. That means these big long muscles are affecting both joints so you can't just laser focus in. In addition, there are muscles that come from your foot and ankle up above the knee. So those muscles also matter. And not to make this overwhelmingly complex, but if your whole upper body is shifted like this, it would have effects on your hip muscles and your knee muscles. So if you're troubleshooting your knees and you're getting laser focused in here, remember to start to expand your understanding of your body and look at how all of the muscles can play into what's becoming a symptom in the knee. So that you can understand muscle imbalances and muscle dysfunction, I'm going to link to an article in the description box on my website that will help you understand how to identify and also how to fix muscle imbalances anywhere in your body. I highly recommend you read that article. For programs to help you rebuild your body at home, go to uprighthealth.com DIY. If you're ready for exercises to rebuild your knee, check out these videos here. To support this channel, use the donate link you'll find in the description box with the join and thanks buttons on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks life short.